the market is way too saturated. There are so many people doing the same thing as I am. If you think about burgers and fries, we have McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Carl's Jr., In-N-Out, Five Guys, so many more. If we're just thinking about fried chicken in Vancouver alone, we have dozens of fried chicken joints. Yes, there are dozens of food joints that are selling the same thing and competition is gonna be furious, but that didn't stop Shake Shack from opening. That didn't stop in and outs from competing when there's already McDonald's out there, there's already Wendy's out there. It didn't stop them from opening. It didn't stop these other fried chicken joints from spending hundreds of thousands of dollars opening up shop in Vancouver. And the reason why is because food is subjective and people are out there to support brands that they can stand behind, brands that they can associate with. And that's the reason why if you were to ask a thousand people what their favorite fast food joint is, the answer is gonna vary from places to places. Even though I personally prefer Shake Shack, my wife would enjoy Wendy's because food is subjective. The point is guys, it doesn't really matter about the product that you sell as much as the vibe and the feeling that you give and display to your customers. And the reason why I chose fast food, burgers and fries to share with you is because this is the most saturated food item in the food marketplace. And that's the reason why if you have a food concept and if you're still limiting your own beliefs, thinking that it is too competitive to go out there in the marketplace, then that's why I urge you guys to think again. Now, if you're still scared of opening up your own food concept because there's four other competition around the block, then think again, guys. Go take a step backwards and think about what voice are you gonna have in this marketplace? Because once again, food taste is not enough. What is that voice? What is it that you are standing up for? What is your values? Because people buy not from their brain. People buy from their emotions and we want to be able to tackle that. One of my students from Foodie Printer's Finest, Michaela, she started her own donut shop called Frankie D's Donuts and she had zero background in culinary at all before she started it. Yet every time she does a drop, every time she has her donuts ready for public to buy, it sells out in a matter of minutes. Why is that the case? Because she has a great brand story that people can connect with. Her brand stands for fun and inclusion, and this goes beyond selling just donuts. Now, her brand resonates with people who believe in the same thing, believes inclusiveness, and believes in the support of mental health, and that's the reason why people are buying her donuts, not just to buy the donuts, but to support the cause, to be associated with the brand, and that's the reason why she's so successful. Now, if you're still unsure how to market your brand properly, how do you connect with your customers, and how do you utilize social media like Instagram, then definitely check out the free masterclass training down below. This is where I share Share with you how do you leverage Instagram in a way that can actually promote your brand so then that way people can actually buy from you this is the secret that I share with Michaela from Frankie D's as well in the link below it is the free masterclass that you should attend right now I hope you had a great time and enjoyed watching this video otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video